Hi everybody, so this is going to be a review of the The Balm Highlight and Contour Highlight and Contour Palette. I just got this in a couple days ago and I have not used it yet, so this is going to be a first impressions review of this palette, but I will do live swatches and I have not put any contour or highlighter or blush on my face, so I'm also going to apply it on my face so you can see how these colors work in action. So let's take a look at this thing, shall we? So as you can see, the packaging is super cute. This is supposed to be a kind of like a ticket stub of a concert ticket. I'm just gonna take out the outer wrapping because it's exactly the same as what the palette looks like. So you can see the outer packaging is cardboard. It's pretty thin, it's not a very bulky palette. On the little squares you can see it says highlight and contour featuring, featuring hit making highlights acclaimed contours. So that's a really cute little added touch. Then on the back there is a breakdown of what's included in the palette which is two shimmer highlights, two contour powders, one bronzer, and one blush. And you can see all of them listed right here, as well as the ingredients right here. So the top row is going to be highlighters and it says hit those high notes, and then the names are gonna be in hertz. So 64 hertz, 125 hertz, 250, and so on. And then the bottom row is called all about that base, and it has contour and cheek colors. There is also a QR code in that little TV symbol, so you can scan that and watch a tutorial for this look. Moving on to the inside of the palette, it's super cute, just as the outside looks. So you can see my little camera in the mirror, but inside the sides of the palette is instructions on how to actually use um, the colors um, on the sides and just other little cute details. So we can see for the first row we have two shimmer highlighters and two matte highlighters. You see more of a, um, a yellow toned highlighter and more of a pinky toned highlighter. And then in this last row we can see all matte shades. So we have two darker contour shades and then a lighter contour shade and then a blush, which you could probably apply this contour shade as a blush as well. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch the two highlighter colors. This is what the colors look on my fingers. And then I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. So upon first swatch, these colors look really gorgeous. Um, we have a more kind of yellowy gold and then a rose gold right next to it. And I really like that they included um, both tones in this palette for people that maybe like more yellow tone things and more pinky tone things But I think both of these highlighter colors are really gorgeous. They do remind me a bit of their um, regular highlighters they have in pans and You know, obviously those are gorgeous and I love them so much So I'm really impressed overall so much with these powders and they feel really really creamy and really smooth Like they don't feel patchy or powdery they just feel like almost like a cream even though it's a powder. So then I'm gonna take the rest of the highlighter shades on my two fingers. That's what it looks like on my fingers. Then I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand. So these um, matte highlighters you can't see so much with the first swatch so I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more product and see what it looks like. So for the matte highlighters to look a little bit more pigmented on the back of my hand I had to go over them about two times. Um, but it doesn't really surprise me because these are meant to be um, more like your skin tone in a way, um, maybe to match um, you know, the under eye area and to set that or to do reverse contouring and you know, all those kind of things. So overall, I'm impressed with the highlighter shades. I really love the highlights that are shimmery because they just have a really nice glow to them. They don't have any glitter particles, which I really appreciate. Um, that's not really good for when I have like my pores are really big and it really accentuates really big pores that have glitter So it doesn't have that it just has a really nice beautiful sheen And then we have these my matte highlight colors that I think will work really well uh, With the contouring process. So 
Um, overall, the consistency is really good. It feels very creamy and I see these working really well on my skin tone. So let's move on to the contour colors and the blush. I'm gonna go ahead and swash the two contour products with my fingers. This is what it looks like on the fingers. And I'm just gonna apply this to the back of my hand. So you can tell that the colors are pretty matte. Um, they look, um, I would say like medium pigmented. I wouldn't say that they're, oh, it's an opaque finish. I'm gonna go ahead and do another swatch over them to see if it gets more pigmented. So now that I'm swatching over them a little bit more, they definitely look a lot more pigmented on the back of my hand. Again, the powder still feels pretty creamy. Um, I would say I probably use contour powders that are a little bit darker than this in terms of like the color. Um, and these are a little bit lighter. So I could see a lot of um, people that have lighter skin tones really liking this palette because it's not such a super dark contour where you're gonna spend a lot of time blending it because it's a little too dark for your face. Um, I also see this working a lot for medium skin tones as well. Um, in terms of girls with a skin tone that's darker than medium. I don't know if this is really gonna work for you. I think it might be a little bit too light. Um, but overall, I am impressed. These, pow these powders feel very, very smooth and we're gonna see in a little bit how they perform on the face, but let me swatch the other two colors first. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my fingers into the last two colors. This is what the color looks like on my fingers. And now I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand. So the blush looks like to me, like it's really, really pigmented. Like I don't need to go over the blush again. Um, so I would definitely use a light hand with this on the face so it doesn't look like clownish. Um, the, this color right here is actually supposed to be a bronzer color, but you could also kind of use it to contour. Um, it is definitely very yellow toned, a little orangey. So you might want to be careful with that. Um, I'm not really sure how this looks like on the face, but I'm kind of wondering if it'll get like a little Oompa Loompa-ish because I do see a lot of orange tone to it. Um, uh, usually other bronzer colors I've used are a little bit warmer than this color. So um, we'll see, but overall um, I'm happy with the pigmentation and I think that these colors um, are pretty versatile to a degree. Again, I don't really think it'll be suitable. These colors for very dark skin tones, but I think the blush is pretty flattering um, for pretty much any skin tone. Um, definitely using a light hand. And I am really interested to see how this looks on the face. So let's go ahead and jump into that. So I'm going to take this contour color first. It's 20 DB. And I'm taking a contour brush. This is an Inglot 3P. Just want you to look for a second what that color looks like on the brush. Um, it's definitely pretty pigmented, so we're gonna see how that looks like on my face. So I'm just going to pat that on my face first, right under my cheekbones. You can see that does give a pretty nice contour to the face. And I like the color for me because it's not too dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and start blending that to diffuse the line. Okay, guys, I really think that looks really nice. Like it blended effortlessly and it doesn't look like too dark or too crazy. So I'm pretty impressed. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the other contour areas of my face, but let me tell you, I'm impressed with this powder so far. I'm gonna take the slightly darker contour color, just a little bit with my brush, and I'm gonna apply that under the jawline, like so. Mm, looks nice. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit of that color on the perimeter of the face. So far this color is working pretty well. Doesn't look too dark. I'm gonna take a little bit of the 
lighter matte color. I'm just applying a little bit on my outer edges of the chin just to kind of bring that forward a little bit, the middle part. Okay, so far I'm really very impressed with this contour powder. And I normally don't contour my nose, but I'm gonna go ahead and take um, the lighter contour powder and apply it on the sides of my nose, see how that cooperates. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna blend out the sides a little bit just to make sure it doesn't look too obvious. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely impressed with this contour powder. I'm very happy with how my face looks pretty sculpted. Um, I'm gonna apply some of the um, matte highlighter. I'm gonna take the more yellowy one. This is the 500 Hertz. I'm gonna apply that under the contour of my cheek. And this is definitely doing a good job at blending in with my face. I'm also gonna apply some on my chin. And I'm gonna apply a little bit under my eye. Okay, this definitely looks pretty good, guys, I have to say. I really love how my contour turned out. I mean, I feel like it's so pigmented, these powders, um, but in a way where you can build it up to be more intensified if you want, and it just blended so effortlessly. Like, a lot of contour powders, I've spent a lot of time blending, and I really didn't have to spend that much time with this one. It just blended so well. So that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a highlighter now. I'm gonna take the more rose gold color, and I'm gonna apply that to the cheekbone area. Oh my, this is so gorgeous. I hope you can see that in the light, but this is just beautiful. I'm gonna apply some to the nose and a little bit to the cupid's bow. I'm definitely very impressed. Let's add a little bit of blush and taking just a teeny bit from this palette because look at the brush, you can already see there's a lot of pigment. And then I'm just going to apply that to the cheekbones. So I'm loving this blush. I feel like it's super flattering for my skin tone and I just love how it looks. It's kind of like a rosy pink and a kind of a little bit of a mauve to it, I could say. But yeah, I really like how that turned out. I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of the bronzer shade, just because I have it in the palette and I just kinda wanna see what it looks like. I'm just gonna apply that like pretty much like all over the face in kind of a sloppy manner, but I just wanna see like really if it does anything. It's pretty subtle, but I can see that my face got warmed up a little bit. I feel like a little I look a little bit more tan. So thankfully it does not look orangey as far as I can tell at this moment. So my final thoughts on this palette is, oh my God, go get it, it's awesome. I totally wasn't expecting anything because I really didn't know how this would turn out. I mean, I have pretty much all of the blushes and highlighters and bronzers that The Balm makes. So that must say something about how much I love The Balm face products, but um, Sometimes when you combine those in a palette, like face products for a palette, sometimes it's like not as good as like single products, but this is definitely worth it. I love the highlighters. They're so gorgeous. The matte colors blend flawlessly. The blush is very, very flattering and I think it would work for a lot of skin tones. And honestly, I just really, really love this palette. I guess the only downside is that um, darker skin tones, I don't really know how this would work because I think it would be a little too light. But um, uh, other than that kind of major downside for uh, girls that aren't light and medium uh, toned skin, um, I really love this palette and I really think that it's 
just really well made. Like it's just really quality feeling. It wasn't even that expensive. You get a lot of products for the price. Um, so I'll leave the information down where you can get it. Um, I just go to thebalm.com and they have it on there, but I'm really happy they released this palette. Hopefully they will also release it on Hot Look soon because usually that's where I buy all my De Balm products because they're usually very discounted and I like a good discount, but um, the Balm is usually on there like once a month or so. So I'll put the information for Hot Look if you want to check it out to, you know, wait for this to probably go down there and be a little bit more discounted. Um, but overall, I'm very happy I got this and compared to other things I have that are similar, like the Too Faced contour palette, this is so much better. The shimmer highlighter they have in that palette is terrible. I don't even use it. And I really like the matte highlighters more in this palette. Um, and I feel like the contour products are a little bit, um, the powder is a little bit more pigmented and it blends a little bit easier. So definitely give it an A plus, must buy product. I really, really, really encourage it. Um, especially if you don't have anything like this yet or you don't really, or even if you're not an expert at contouring, this is still a really good palette. Like you don't have to use it for that purpose, but you can, and it's just very easy and user friendly. So thanks so much for watching my review. And if you have any comments or questions, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.